Justice Keegan, show me 10 innocent civilians on the day of internment and I'll show you a flock of flying pigs. They were not innocent. Prime Minister Johnson, do not apologize for me or my comrades. You were not there. Justice Keegan was not even born then. The evidence presented was a joke. Uncle Jimmy said this. Uncle Pat said that. I was walking my dog during the middle of a gunfight. I'd gone to a wake. Yeah, you'd gone to a wake, all right. You're on. The IRA have spent 50 years fabricating evidence for the Ballymurphy inquest. The best liar won. I do not forgive parachute regiment officers. They also fabricated evidence on the first inquest. But do not blame the soldiers. We have an officer corps. The man in charge of the parachute regiment, 2nd Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Howlett. Sir, punish anybody, take away his knighthood. He was the man in charge. If he lost control of his soldiers, who's responsible? He is, not the soldiers. Soldiers obey orders. Officers, and one in particular, a captain, did a lot of the shooting. I believe it was the same captain that tried to murder me because he made false statements in the first inquest. In the Ministry of Defence, know it. The Ministry of Defence did nothing to question the people giving evidence at the inquest. I was at the inquest via video link, like I'm talking to you. I wanted to ask questions. I wanted to give light on the day of internment, but I was not allowed to talk. I was only allowed to answer questions that they presented. Initially, I was sent the statements of the family's friends giving evidence. I couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. It was that comical. They weren't there. So uh, statements were made, totally fabricated. And the IRA spent 50 years fabricating evidence. And the British officers fabricated evidence. And the best liars won. But who's going to get punished? Soldiers. Little soldiers. Non-commissioned ranks. Not the officers. Boris, do not, do not say sorry for me. Apologize for me. I did nothing wrong. I may be the only person at the inquest that didn't tell lies. That's why I'm not liked by the families nor the Ministry of Defence. 
But please, I have nothing, nothing to be embarrassed about. Lack of med medical training. I was a first aider. Not a fucking doctor. Not God. These people were shot to hell. One guy. Let's have a look at the evidence. Noel Phillips. Shot through the neck. In there, out there, a tiny little hole. It states in the first inquest, a shotgun bullet. Show me the shotgun bullet. It went in and out. Did he run in front of an IRA man firing an armor light and accidentally get shot by the IRA? He did not get shot by a 762 army bullet. It would have took his head off. It also states in the first inquest that he got shot in the buttocks and the arm. I asked him, are you shot anywhere else? No, he said. I didn't want to fuck him about turning him over because of the fact that he had a hole through his neck. What do I do? He wasn't bleeding externally. I put, should have put two corks in. This was a total lie, and the best liars won, and that is the IRA and its sympathizers. Take note on another occasion. The inquest in London Derry, Bloody Sunday. How many members of the IRA give evidence? The Dave Internment. How many IRA give evidence? All soldiers got letters. You must give evidence at the inquiry. All IRA were known to MI5 and the British police because of informers and many informers. Why did they not get the letter intend attend the inquest? You got one side of a story. You got the family side of the story. They weren't there. Third hand testimony. Uncle Jimmy said this. Uncle Paddy said that. Thank God. That is not an inquest. How in an inquest did Keegan allow the IRA lawyers to call me a murderer and other people murderers? That is not how an inquest was supposed to work. It was to try and establish how they got killed. But none of the military evidence was accepted. Only the third rate hearsay evidence of the IRA supporters. Show me 10 innocent people in 1971 in Bally Murphy and I will show you a flock of flying pigs. Do not apologize. Do not take soldiers to court. I am warning you. Protestant loyalists know the truth. 10 o'clock on ITV. There were cameras looking down on Ballymurphy. We were sitting on the floor in the Henry Taggart Hall watching News at 10. Boom, boom, boom. Gunfire from Bally Murphy. News at 10. Why did the camera crews not get summoned to the inquest? Where was the video 
from user 10. I have so many questions. Punish the officers. Punish the MPs. British soldiers do not have human rights. Then and now, we were treated like subhumans. A hundred to a room. Bunk beds where you could only have escaped the slide down. No privacy. No use of phones to call our wives on the first tour. Money was taken off us by the officers. At lunch, well, midday break, sandwiches were sold to soldiers. But the bread, butter, and fillings was army rations. We were being forced to buy army rations because the major wanted money, company money. We were being exploited. We were working four on, eight off, seven days a week. Bottles thrown at us, bricks thrown at us, nail bombs thrown at us, petrol bombs thrown at us. You feel sorry for them 10 innocent men and one woman? I don't. They were assisting the IRA. Men, women and children, civilians. 90% of Ballymurphy assisted the IRA in trying to kill British soldiers. And these are facts, not third hand. I was there. Please do not apologize for me.